Hi there! Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, 안녕하세요 여러분, 반갑습니다. Uh, I am Jen. You can call me Ji Young. Uh, today, I want to talk about how to make good music. It is all from my perspective. So if you have any other good idea, please share your opinion. Firstly, I would say, choose your music well. How? It is from listening. Once you want to learn a new music, you would listen to it first. After listening, you would come up with any thought or feel something about the music, like I love the melody or I would like to sing this next time. Otherwise, it's boring, I want to choose other music. In this case, if you love the music or some parts attract you, it's going to be easy to be chosen by you for your next music. The intimate relationship between you and the music affects audience in a good way. In other words, your own impression on the music could be an inspiration and the inspiration affects audience. So believe your love on the music and don't ignore your first honest impression of the listening. Then practice it based on the affection. Then, how to develop the music based on it? Secondly, I would say it's an interpretation. Many students tend to focus on only musical technique, but a vocal music is different from other instrumental music since it has lyrics. So, I would say lyrics should be first, then music. And we need to meditate it deeply to sing with the music. So, how to meditate on it? We need to use our imagination. For example, if you want to sing Mimi's aria, Si Mi Giama no Mimi, in La Boheme by Puccini, imagine who is Mimi in your own image. Like she has a black hair, or blonde hair, or a big eye, small eye, in whatever you like. And finally, she would be you to sing. And see the context of the aria. In the context, she has open mind and is acceptable of Rodolfo's suggestion to introduce herself. Then you could set your voice color to utter the first word C with sweet sound. I can also imagine the background color of the aria could be gray since Rodolfo is a poor poet and he looks like he doesn't care any dust at home. Like this, use your imagination to possess the music on your own. Thirdly, for a good interpretation, we could think the music from a composer's perspective. For example, think about Nemorino's aria Una Fruitiva Lagrima in La Lisere d'Amore by Donizetti. The lyric is happy because Nemorino gets Adina's love finally. But the music is B flat minor and it is sad. At this point, we need to have place to think why Donizetti put this minor music onto Nemorino's pleasing heart. I would say he didn't get out of his depressed heart yet. Sometimes when we are too happy, what happens? Somebody is crying or somebody is annoying. Like that, Donizetti didn't express Nemorino's, Nemorino's pleasing heart right away, even though there is a key change later. It's tricky, but it's interesting and attractive. Like this, we need to guess and analyze the composer's purpose in our own world because we are going to sing the composer's music, not the music written by me. In order to understand the composer's intention, we need to ask a lot why the composer puts the highest note on those lyrics, why the composer uses those harmony on the sentences. Many students could easily skip this interpretation process, but I would say interpretation should be semi important process as well as other musical skills to make good music.
To sum up, I would say choosing good music by listening you like and interpretation with your imagination and analyzing from composer's perspective would be important factors to make good music. All right, this would be my brief opinion about how to make good music. Hope my opinion could be helpful to you at some point. And if you have any other idea, please let me know. Also, if you have other concerning topic that we can share next time, please leave your replies. Thank you for watching and don't forget to press the like button if you like this content. See you soon. Bye.